Hey everyone, it's Jubai Rec coming out with a brand new video and today I'm gonna be showing you guys the best AMD Radeon settings to get the best performance and FPS in games. We're gonna be keeping a proper balance of visual quality and increase in performance and this should help you all AMD users regardless of a low end or a high end GPU. But if you guys are happy with the results of this guide, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. I do my best to reply to every single comment and connect with you guys in general. So be sure to subscribe to the channel for all the future videos that will help you guys boost FPS and increase performance. So without any further ado guys, let's dive straight into the video. So starting off with the guide, the first thing that you guys need to do is update your graphics drivers. It's highly recommended that you guys go ahead and update your GPU drivers at least every 1-2 to two months to keep up to date with all the new performance increases and all the new bug fixes. So if you guys haven't updated your graphics drivers in a while, it's highly recommended that you guys go ahead and do so as these will help you guys boost FPS and reduce input lag in a lot of games. So to do that simply go down into the description of this video and click on the link for the AMD drivers. Once you are on the AMD's official driver website, just go ahead and scroll down, select graphics and then select your graphics card series. For me, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose AMD Radeon R9 series and then choose the 300 series and then AMD Radeon R9 390. Just go ahead and click on submit. And then it will load the drivers for your graphics card. Just simply go ahead and select your operating system. For me, it's Windows 10 64 bit. Just click on that and click on download. So once the drivers are downloaded, just simply go ahead and install the drivers and then restart your PC just to make sure that everything is working perfectly fine with inside of the windows and the new drivers aren't having any issues while playing games. Okay, so now moving on to the best AMD Radeon settings. This portion of the video is taken from Polaric and don't worry guys, I'm using it with his permission. So huge thanks to Polaric for letting me use his video. I will leave the link to his channel in the description down below. The reason I'm using his video is because my older AMD GPU isn't working for some reason. So we will have to make do with this. So yeah guys, let's get straight into it. Um, but yeah, like I said, just make sure you're completely up to date. The current drivers are doing pretty well. Um, and yeah, that should solve a lot of your problems right there. Um, another thing you do want to do is you want to go to the gaming tab. You're going to go ahead and click on Fortnite or whatever game you play. And you're going to scroll down and you're going to put this on eSports for now or it's going to uh, come up with custom after we make a couple of changes. So I'm going to put mine on eSports as you can see. Um, we want anti-lag enabled, chill is going to be disabled, um, this is going to save you some power, we don't really need that if we're trying to get every last use of FPS. Um, the image sharpening, we really do want this on, it does improve the visual quality a lot um, for little to no FPS. You're going to enable it, and I have mine at about 88% uh, percent, and you can test this, um, see what you like best. Um, I personally keep it here, it keeps a good medium for me, makes it look like a little bit of a higher quality image. Um, but for enhanced sync, we're going to go ahead and turn this off. Um, vertical refresh, we want this always off. This is going to be your V-Sync. Um, and then AMD Free Sync, or I'm sorry, Radeon Free Sync, you want to do AMD Optimize if you can. Um, this is going to be per monitor. Um, scaling mode, center, integer scaling, you want disable. Uh, launch iInfinity, disable, and custom color, it's all preference. Um, next thing you want to do is go ahead and click the advanced button down here. Once you're here, go ahead and select override application settings. And you're going to set this at 2x and then for anti-aliasing method you want to go ahead and put multi-sampling for this one you want to go ahead and disable it uh, anti-strophic filtering you want to go ahead and enable that put it at times two go ahead and put this on performance enable surface format um, optimization tessellation mode go ahead and override it and put it at eight times open triple buffering we want to go ahead and turn that off as it does not apply to fortnite once you've done that, you can go ahead and save it, um, and you can go ahead and apply that to your global display if you'd like, just so you can get it in every game. Um, I have a profile just for Fortnite. I'm still testing some other settings in different games to see what I like the best, um, but that's my main settings for Fortnite. Alright guys, and the next thing we want to go ahead and do is we're going to go to that performance tab. We're going to go to tuning, 
add game profile and select the game you play. I play Fortnite, so I'm going to add that profile. This is going to give our GPU a profile for each application. Um, for Fortnite, I'm going to go ahead and add a, so uh, a soft overclock that keeps our GPU at a safe temperature while getting every last drop and speed out of it. So for me, I go ahead and or I run a AMD R9 39, or 390 series. So I'm going to Google AMD Radeon R9 390 max temp. Um, as you can see, my safe temp is going to be 94 degrees Celsius. Um, this is what the manufacturer said is the max speed, and that is what it's made to run at. Um, so my goal is going to be like 92, 93, just to be safe. And to get started with this soft overclock, you want to go ahead and enable power tuning. We're going to go ahead and side that all the way to the right. This won't change anything except the limit um, that you're allowed to give, the voltage limit that you're... Um, you'll be allowed to give to your GPU. You wanna go ahead and apply this. Um, this won't change the temperature at all. This is just gonna allow us to add more speed to the GPU in the VRAM. And I'll be explaining this in just a second. The next thing we wanna go ahead and do is we're gonna turn on the um, custom fan tuning and we're gonna go ahead and enable it. We're gonna enable advanced control. As you can see, mine's running at 1800 right now. I'm gonna go ahead and increase that to like 2500 just to speed it up a little. Um, this is gonna immediately cool it down. You can see that it will speed up just a bit. And as your fan does get hotter, it's going to naturally speed up the fan, so it's going to maintain that temperature no matter what. Um, it's going to do its best, and we're just going to go ahead and monitor it and speed up the fan when necessary. So the GPU tuning, um, as you can see, it says clock speed. This is uh, very similar to the cores of a uh, CPU, a processor, um, and the faster they are, the more frames you will get. So once you're here, you can go ahead and enable it. You just want to slide this for like two or three. Um, I'm going to keep mine at two just because my card does run a little bit hotter. Um, for you guys that are like in the 50s while idle or 60s, you can go ahead and probably slide it to three. And you can test this as well. Um, this is going to be the safe setting um, for most people. Um, once you're done with that, you can go to apply changes. Um, this should speed or get your temperature a little bit warmer. As you can see, I'm running 69, um, but I don't have my game running right now. Um, and before I start my game, we're going to go ahead and tune the VRAM. So the VRAM is basically going to be the RAM of your graphics card. So the VRAM is going to uh, hold all the shaders, the cache, the image caches, um, stuff like that, and will help solve any rendering issues if you're having trouble with the game not rendering. Um, the faster you make this, the faster it'll render. Um, but you do want to be very careful. This is the stuff you want to um, tune very slight um, and just keep testing it out because this will increase your temperature the most. So once you're here, you want to go ahead and enable VRAM tuning. We're going to go ahead and increase it probably by 50. Apply changes. Um, from here, I would load my game and I would play for about five minutes, test the temperature. Um, if it's still at a safe temperature, um, I would increase it again by 50. Gonna apply the changes again. Close it, load Fortnite, keep testing it until you get a safe temperature of like 90, whatever you looked up earlier, um, the temperature that your manufacturer says is safe. Um, but yeah guys, that's pretty much a simple way to overclock your graphics card for now. So now that you guys have applied the best AMD Radeon settings, it's time for some extras. These settings are optional, you guys don't need to apply them. But if you guys want even more FPS and performance in games, then I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and use these as well. But before we continue, just make sure that you guys go ahead and create a restore point. Just in case that any of these settings don't work out for you guys, you guys can always go ahead and revert them with a simple click. So what you guys need to do is download the AMD Radeon FPS Pack by Reknotic. To do this, simply go down into the description of this video and click on the link for the AMD Radeon FPS Pack by Reknotic which will take you to this website right here. Just simply go ahead and click on download button. If anything else opens up like an ad or something, just simply go ahead and close it and click on the download button again which will take you to upload hub and then you guys have to wait for 5 seconds and then click on this download button right here. Now I'm using the Fortnite Ultimate FPS Boost Texture Fix Pack as an example. It will be this pack, AMD Radeon Pack, for you guys. Just simply go ahead and click on download now and this pack will download for you guys. So once you have downloaded the pack, you will need WinRAR or 7-Zip to extract the pack. You can use either one of those. Just simply go ahead and extract it. Then open it up. Then open up this folder and go into the Reduce Mouse Latency. This is gonna help you guys reduce the input delay for your mouse. So just go ahead and choose your Windows version. For me, I'm using Windows 10. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose this one. 
just in case that you guys want to revert it, just go into the reset folder and use this default .reg file. Now go back and go into the registry file op for optimization. Just go ahead and use all of these. And if you want to revert all of these, just go ahead and use all of these. For these two registry files, just go ahead and use them according to your PC. If you guys have a low end PC, then go with low to medium optimization. And if you guys have a medium to high end PC, then go with medium to high end optimization. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to low and medium optimization. Okay, so now go back again and copy the timer resolution to your desktop. Go ahead and launch it before playing the game, then click on maximum and then minimize it and launch your game. After you are done playing, just simply go ahead and close it. Do not close it when you are playing the game, close it after you are done playing. This is gonna help you guys greatly reduce input lag, so just go ahead and use it. So yeah guys that will be it for this video. If this video helped you guys in any way shape or form, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for future content. And also guys don't forget to join the discord server, the link will be in the description, we got PC questions, general chat, self promotion, everything that you guys will need. And I will be helping all of you guys out if you guys are having any issues or if you guys just wanna chill out in general, just go ahead and join the discord server, the link will be in the description. So yeah guys, I will see you guys in the next one, until then, stay awesome.